This episode is brought to you by Pulsar. But having said that, I don't think it really matters where we came from. Is where do you want to go from here, right? You know, uh, you want to live on Earth. You want to preserve Earth. You want to make it a better place to live. Mm -hmm. Is where we should be concerned. Doesn't matter where we came from. We're here, right? The best of the best. Uh, the best of the best species, right? I, I see it this way. Uh, imagine this: we're all we're all Africans at the end of the day, right? We all started from there. That's what they say. So I, I believe that too. All the monkeys, the best of the best monkeys, <laughs> the best of the <laughs> come back to the monkeys, the best of the best monkeys made it through, yeah. right? The yeah. most cunning, the most brave, the right. most powerful made it through. Okay. Again, all right. Let's say we evolved, right? The brains evolved, the dicks evolved, everything evolved, <laughs> and, then, and then here we are, right? Uh, so think about it. Our ancestors, maybe. Let's say our fiftieth grandfather, all right, the great 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 grandfather, right. must have been a warrior or a fighter or something. That is why we are here. Yeah. If he was not, he'd be you'd dead. be dead. Yeah, yeah. Think about it this Hunter way. Hunter gatherers, right? Always. Uh, you know, the, the the only the best survive. It's, yeah. it's uh, nature's way of rooting out the weak from the strong. At the end of the day, we're animals, right? Yeah. So if we learn to hunt and to consume meat or uh, you know, survive, that's the only way you're going to survive as a species, yeah. right? So we have come through an elimination process to the point that we are what we are now, right? Yeah. But don't forget, we still have the power to destroy this whole planet if we really wanted to. <laughs> well, you know? true that, yeah. true that. Yeah. One, one click and we're gone. So, so let's say till 200 years ago, people right. were fighting. People are fighting. Nothing's Be changed, Sanjay. The people are still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> people are, imagine this: people are literally fighting with guns and swords and things right. like that. Right? right now, people are fighting with the, fighting with technology. Right. Right. Okay. So, what's going to happen in another hundred years, or two hundred years, or five hundred years? You know, that's crazy for me when I think, I think I, about I th it. I think humanity, in a sense, uh, has to rely on, on people. On people, basically, mm -hmm. right? On the goodwill of people. And it's all in our hands, which direction you want to take humanity, on a positive way or, or a negative way, right? And that's up to the individual as a choice. And I hope and I pray that we have enough sense that we all want to live and survive and take it into a positive route. Like I said before, you know, people know what's wrong. Yeah. People know what's right. They just have to make the right choices. And for that... Internet is a distraction because there's a lot of false news out there, right? And um, if only people would generate uh, good news, mm -hmm. uh, that would be something uh, different. But I think at some point we need to have some regulations as to what goes on the internet or not. Okay, maybe a lot of people would get angry now and say, what about freedom of speech? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, freedom of speech is, is, is a concept where do you want to abuse or do you want to better life for everybody else, right? These are the choices people mm. are making. Um, we just have to have a civil society mm. where people have the right morality, you know, to make these choices. But it's hard to say what morality is. What's the norm, right? Good education, good family background. Mm. You know, most of the population doesn't live in that category. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> you, doesn't. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it's it's hard for people to to worry about the environment when you don't have enough to eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, and to fill your stomach, um, let's rob that guy over there. <laughs> 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 easy way out, right? We're always looking for the easy way out. That that is the easiest way, way to go ahead as well. I've, I'm I'm inviting somebody next uh, next week. I've got uh, this guy called uh, fantastic guy. His name is Kushal Gurung. Amazing guy. He's like a big brother. Sustainable energy. You know, he's done okay. things in Pokhara. He's done things in Pokhara with biogas and wind energy. That oh my god, it's phenomenal, right? That is the future. That's where I see that in another in another ten, twenty, fifty years. I want everybody to have an electric car. You know. Get out of the oil business. Most probably, the war is going to be for water. There's, there's no yeah. other alternative for us. If we're going to survive and we're going to get over this global warming, we have to start yeah. doing something now, right? Uh, it's getting late, uh, Sanjay. You know, big storms are coming, earthquakes, mm -hmm. volcanic eruptions, disruption. 
as soon as the weather gets disrupted, uh, agriculture gets disrupted, you know, uh, where they were growing tons of food before, now it's dry, it's, mm-hmm. it's turning into a desert. So this is something we really have to look at, right? And it's up to each individual, I think, to be aware of this because it's coming to a point where there's no going back now. Yeah, right? yeah. It's just going to get worse. If we're going to live like this, it's going to get worse. And uh, let's say COVID. COVID was a prime example of nature fighting back to preserve itself, right? Yeah. And it's not going to get any better. And we'll have to live with this or we do something about it. Well, I really don't know if it came out from bats or not. <laughs> well, it's a virus, right? It's a virus. A virus is when, you know, the animal kingdom gets depressed and then they have anxieties. Mm-hmm. What it does is the body releases viruses that oh, fight the system, right? Mm-hmm. It's fighting us and we're the you know, we're the main culprits. Right? Yeah, yeah. Never, ne- never in my life I imagined, well, this day, I was reading up on, I was watching a documentary on Taiwan. You, yeah. You've been to Taiwan? No. No? No. You haven't been to Taiwan. Taiwan, apparently, again, Taiwan's rich. Taiwan, Taiwan's got their shit together, right? There's a lot of things happening with Taiwan when it comes to China and when it comes to tons of things, right? Yeah. But <laughs> a lot of things happening. A lot of things happening to yeah. Taiwan, right? But when, but their healthcare system, I was just reading up on their healthcare system, watching a documentary on healthcare system because Taiwan, I don't mm-hmm. know if you know this or not, contained COVID-19. So for in 2020 until some Nepali guys <laughs> in there. <laughs> and now they have the new variant and they don't know what the fuck to do. With it. <laughs> exactly that's what yeah. happened. I don't know I don't know who went in. This this is not going to go away. No. Uh, no. I remember telling my mother in 2020, 2020. I told my mother before the first lockdown like you know when when you look at the pictures I was watching TV uh, not TV I was watching something digitally in February 2020. Yeah. you know january or february i can't remember chinese people all lined up all queued up in yeah. wuhan going to the hospital falling down yeah. uh, you know they're walking they, in the street and then they were still saying oh there's no no there's no pandemic there's nothing, nothing is happening you know it's just bad flu <laughs> yeah and now I, and i still remember telling my mother we were having dinner i went home to have dinner one day and i was saying to my mother well well things it's coming yeah you like it or not yeah it's coming for sure Let's get a few rations out, you know, let's get the rice, let's get the dal, let's get the whatever, you know, nun chini pani and right. let's get ready because this is definitely coming. It's like the earthquake, people, right? I don't, yeah. yeah, but people then just didn't realize how serious it was going to be because don't forget previous years we had the SARC problem, right? Yeah. It never really hit here. Yeah. We just killed it. SARS. SARS, yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry. I've been correcting you forever you. now. But you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, I, right? I know. We had the SARS thing and then the... killed a bunch of chickens and then the, yeah. they had the pig thing they killed a bunch of pigs yeah. so it didn't really affect us at no. that time right no. though we were aware so when this came along covid came along people thought it was going to be the same shit right yeah. but it wasn't you know no. it just wasn't because by that time and uh, it's the same virus hey yeah. it's just mutated to covid-19 now yeah. right yeah. so nature's been trying to fight us since then and if we don't get vaccinated uh it's just going to turn ugly and it's going to be horrible for everybody it's it's going to be crazy yeah. there's no doubt on that and i was saying to my mother that it's going to come you like it or not it's going to be here and here it is yeah. you know here it is we've all faced it the weirdest thing for me when i when i look at it right it's everywhere it's yeah. everywhere on the planet and uh, i look back at uh, where it started from and people yeah. are partying there it's back to normal now you know so uh, i don't know what it is i don't know how this this thing my, my outlook o- o- yeah. on this is it's never going to be over until everybody is immune or has an immune system that's built up by vaccines right yeah. uh, you can't have the rich countries uh, all vaccinated and then the poor countries not because there's going to be certain migration happening yeah. right to look for a better job look for a better life And, and until it totally gets eradicated it's not going to go anywhere and we better do this fast because you know the, the new variant keeps coming out every time you know people get vaccinated it gets stronger and stronger right so that's the only alternative i see um as far as nepal goes i don't know when that's going to happen so we're in for the long haul right and for sure yeah and we just opened up everything now right without vaccinating most of our population and uh, it's an inevitable that we'll get the third wave right 
This episode is brought to you by Pulsar.